Welcome back. Nursing homes used to be the only choice for older or disabled persons who needed help caring for themselves. Today, there are many choices that allow individuals to live independently while receiving nursing facility level of care in their home or in a community setting. Yeah, and there are organizations in our area dedicated to assisting those folks and their caregivers that are looking for information and resources. Organizations like Area Agency on A Aging of Western Michigan and Senior Resources of West Michigan. And with us, we've got two representatives from those organizations. Lisa Tyler's right here, Liz Barnett's over there. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Liz. Good morning. Thanks. Morning. Thanks That's, for having us. Uh, so for those who don't know what your organizations do, Lisa, I'll start with you. What sure. exactly do you do? Well, an Area Agency on Aging is, we, they're all over the country. There are, I don't remember how many, 1,300 of them. There are 16 in Michigan. And basically, in short, our goal is to try to help older adults age in place, age in the setting that they would like to, whether it's their home, a family members home, another place, but to keep them out of those skilled care facilities as long as possible. All right, perfect. So talk about this partnership and, and what's bringing you guys together. Well, for us, you know, we offer many of the same services. We just cover different counties. So between our two agencies, we cover 12 counties. And we feel like it's, um, for us, we just want to get the word out there that there are services available in the home. If people don't know about it, then it doesn't really do anybody any good for the 12 counties that we serve, or really Michigan as a whole. So that's our desire to come together. And it is Older Americans Month. May is Older Americans Month, although as I always say, at when you're working at an area agency on aging, every day is older yeah, Americans sure. say that's what we care about. Absolutely. And it, this almost sounds like concierge service, though. It sounds like something that's going to be really expensive, right? But you have there's a My Choice waiver program. What, what is the cost for something like this? Yeah, so I think that's a really good question because I think when people hear about this, they're wondering, number one, what does it cost? Number two, what are the qualifications? Should I disqualify myself and not even bother calling? And, of course, we say it's always good to learn. It's always good to not disqualify qualify yourself if so if you're wondering like could this apply to my family or someone that I know, my neighbor? Um, the burden is on our agencies to really do that assessment, to guide someone through the conversation. We have intake and assistance and people answering the phones for just that purpose. Now, some of the programs, for instance, like My Choice Medicaid Waiver, there will be some qualifications both with income and assets because if everybody qualifies, you know, then it's not necessarily a cost savings to Uncle Sam, so to speak. Mm -hmm. but don't disqualify yourself if you're wondering if that loved one could use the services give us a call okay perfect so yeah that that's kind of the message here reach out to you um, how can people do that how can people learn more well in our case at senior resources we cover Muskegon Oceana and Ottawa counties you can call us at 231-733-3585 that is our options council member. We have our website, and I'll let you give yours. Yeah, and Area Agency on Aging, we cover the counties that kind of do a reverse C around senior resources, nine different counties. And you can re reach us by our website and our phone number, 616-456-5664. All right, ladies, thanks so much. Thank we appreciate you. it. Those websites are on your screen. That is all the time we have for today. Have a wonderful